It's been invaluable in, in getting us to the point where we're at today. There's some things that computers still can't do and, and we are seeing, we see things in the physical model that you can't replicate in a, in a computer model. Physical models have been used for you know, decades and decades and decades. And so there's some uh, assurity to testing it with a physical model and seeing what happens in real life. This is the biggest model that we've had here in 20 years. Um, it's one of the biggest models in Australia right now and um, it was definitely quite challenging. <laughs> the big 3D jigsaw puzzle. Hi, I'm uh, Bronson McPherson. Uh, we're standing here at uh, Manly Vale, uh, Manly Hydraulics Laboratory, uh, just downstream of Manly Dam, and we're in the Cotter model. When you put the, these different techniques together, it sort of give, they're very complementary. Um, the, the CFD numerical modelling allows you to do sort of very quick changes at an early stage, and it's much cheaper. This is obviously a, a much more extensive undertaking, uh, more expensive and sort of more time involved, so you want to get it pretty right before you start on this. Um, but we have managed to further refine it and optimise it, um, sort of bringing in quite a few cost savings along the way. The um, model's been built as a 1 to 45 scale. At that scale, the behaviour of the water will replicate what will actually happen in the spillway, so we can see how it performs. It gives an opportunity to fine-tune a lot of the aspects of the, of the spillway, like reducing the size of walls or increasing if the case may be. Oh, the main aim of today was just to, well I guess twofold, partly to, to show them what we've been uh, doing with this model and the, the spillway design, um, but secondly and probably most importantly is to show everyone uh, or to give them an impression of what we're going to be building, uh, so it obviously gives them a very good impression of the, the structure that, uh, that we're going to end up with uh, a couple of years from now. So we're starting to fill up the model now, we'll fill up the storage until the spillway spills. Uh, when the storage becomes full, the water will start spilling over the spillway and the first flow here will be the one in five year flood. So in this particular case, uh, the reason you'd build a physical model is because of the hydraulic complexities of the flow. Uh, you, have, uh, you have probably at your low flows, it is a fairly simple sort of model, it just comes through this central area there, but as the flows get higher and it starts spilling down the sides and coming down these side return abutment walls, that is where um, the complexity comes in. We have to construct all of the topography around the structure. So we use um, templates and fill and concrete to sculpt in the topography of the land, um, as well as building up the actual structure. The people um, actually building the structure have incredibly detailed um, topography maps of the area, and so we use those electronically and slice through them to create cross-sections of the topography um, and get templates laser cut to those sections. Down here, uh, it's important to get it right because you need to measure what's happening because this is, this is going to help show you what sort of damage you're likely to get, you know, what sort of erosion downstream. And if you get a lot of erosion downstream, if that can move back up, that can undermine the dam and you can lose a dam. Um, and then on the flip side, it's really important to get the upstream um, topography correct because that determines the flow behaviour.
first thing is just putting some water over it and seeing that the philosophy that the designers you know, went with is correct. I think it's, it's all turned out very well. We, um, the first time we saw the physical model run, it was very nerve-wracking. You're never quite sure how it's going to work or, or whether it's going to work. Uh, water has a mind of its own and tends to do what it wants and go where it wants to go. Um, but even the first, first time we ran it, we were very happy with it. And I guess the, the runs we've been doing since then have more been tweaking and, and optimising to sort of to get it just right. The challenge of, of you know, doing something different and getting it to work uh, is, is interesting. Uh, I like hydraulics and the, the mathematics behind it and I enjoy working with a team. Uh, and then you get to work with you know, the guys like James, and Peter, Richard. Oh, I had to build up the suspense, I guess, sort of start with the lower flows and then, then build it up from there. But uh, yeah, I think everyone uh, will take away a lot from today um, in different areas. As I said, probably most valuable will be the, the fact that they're able to visualise what this is going to look like uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, these are some 1 in 42 scale people, so um, it really gives you a sense of perspective that each one of those steps is 1.2 metres high, um, and this is going to be a really big wall. <laughs>